I just had to turn on my camera. Oh my goodness. So I was coming down here and I thought, I'm just going to survey the basement. Maybe I'll give a tour. I don't know. And just, I don't know what it is about being down here, but I immediately am like, <gasps> and I know I have come so far and maybe I need to watch one of my earlier videos down in the basement, but I sometimes wonder, am I ever going to get this basement to where I want it to be, or is it just on the nature of your storage stuff? I just don't know. I obviously need your support, so I hope you're here for me. But what I really wanna do is, as usual, I've asked people to bring stuff down here over the past few weeks, and it just kinda gets brought down and set down. I wanna get that stuff put away. There's a couple little areas I might tackle, but I kinda had to just jump in. My purpose today is to get little things organized so that they don't become big things. And uh, anytime you have a storage area, garage, closet, attic, basement, storage unit, you got to be visiting it regularly and for me often or it just all falls apart. And I'm determined not to let that happen. That's too much talking. Let's get going. <laughs> I want to go through my food storage, which is very minor, as you can see, but I just want to make sure that I don't have expired cans. Last year at Christmas and Thanksgiving, I overbought, and I really didn't overbuy on purpose necessarily, and I realized because I, Yvonne is making a pumpkin pie for Ava because it's her 16th birthday today, and I noticed that things are starting to expire when I came down here to get the pumpkin and evaporated milk. So I need to go through those. And then we have something in the refrigerator I'll show you. Let's, let's deal with the food first. I'm actually going back and forth on, yeah, this is expired, whether or not I even want to have food storage. I just don't think it's wholly effective for me to have stuff down here. I don't tend to come down here. So I don't know if I want food storage. I'm kind of at a point even I'll show you where I keep gift bags because I had the whole, and I'm gonna keep a spot for like wrapping paper gift bags. I know I might have extra at thank, or Christmas, but I don't spend a total, I don't spend a lot of money on gift bags and wrapping paper like I used to. We're not going to a ton of birthday parties since 2020 that has really slowed down. And I'm not saying it's not gonna pick back up, but I get my gift bags at the dollar store. So I really don't feel like I need to have a whole lot of storage in that area. Oh, these are good. That's good. We can use these at Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I think that's something to always be looking at is, is, you know, is the money that you're saving worth the space it takes to store it? And I get the whole food thing. I know food storage is a great idea. Wow, this doesn't expire till 20, oh, 2024. I thought it said 2034, that's so funny. See, now this, I might end up donating. It still has another two years on it and I'm really the only one who eats cherry pie and I'm, I'm on a low carb diet. I don't believe I'm gonna be eating this. So I actually might be donating this. In fact, I bet I will be. But for now, we'll keep it right here. So anyways, you let me know, do you go through this dilemma too of whether or not it is worth it to keep things in storage? Um, because it, you know, storage is upkeep. So yeah, I'm getting rid of a few of these. Some of these don't have expiration dates and they're probably fine, but Things like that make me nervous. 2, 10, 22. Nope. And then this one. Sometimes they're not very dark. Oh, there it is. October 2022. So unless I can make something with it this month. So I'll keep it here and I'll try to remember to make like muffins. And these get dusty. And others have, of you have told me that I really need to have lids on this stuff. Could not agree more. But I don't really think I'm even going to be keeping a lot of it. So this is all stuff like um, food coloring. That stuff I use. Sprinkles I'll use. I know these are not that old. Maybe a year. How long do sprinkles last? I mean, it's just sugar, honestly. So unless I've got something really old. 
I'll keep it. That one looks kind of old and it's not even very full. But some things, honestly, it's worth it to buy it when you need it and to get rid of what you don't use rather than holding on to it and having to store it. Now, see, I have silver here, silver here, and there's not much in here. So I'm going to get rid of those. You know, you don't want to be wasteful, but at the same time, I don't want to keep all this stuff. These are like the little number candles. I'll keep those. Oh, my nutcrackers. You got to have nutcrackers in Maine because we use them for lobster. We don't use them for nuts. <laughs> all right so these are all good 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 I mean I don't even know if we open that one we will definitely make Christmas cookies we do that oh I think I this came out of something I was decluttering and I was going to maybe get it developed, which I obviously haven't done. Get the bounce down here. That should really be with my cleaners over on this shelf. Oh yeah, and I can't forget I have this. Basil. This is my declutter of shame. And it's one of the reasons why I am thinking about not keeping extra food is because I forget about it and now it's all nasty, but I really want to shut this off too. And honestly, I have like two things in the big chest freezer, so I don't know. You tell me what are the things that you stock ahead or keep a stock of. And if you happen to know the shelf life, if you could mention that as well, I would really appreciate it. That might be a video coming up where we decide what we want for um, extra food. And um, how long of a shelf life it has. Also, my husband and I are both low carb, so that's a factor. But like stuff like this is probably so good, but no one will eat it because they say it's old. I'm gonna be unplugging this. <coughs> oh my goodness! There's Chinese food from I don't even know when in there, and it is toxic. This is all I have here. I'll probably keep this one for a bit longer. Uh, the pizza's fine. This needs to go. This needs to go in this, but this is not worth keeping this. Or, excuse me, I got this and this. Not worth keeping this thing. I got this ice. So this is my decision. Is do I keep this on because I have this ice, which is great in a storm, or am I going to actually get stuff <sighs> and put it in here? Because, like, chicken's on sale right now. I just don't know. I definitely do not <laughs> have this all figured out. Luckily, it's cold enough that it's not going to be all nasty outside until dump day. Shameful. So these are like spare cleaners and that sort of thing. That's going pretty well. But then on here, school stuff that I was going through school stuff and I just brought it down in a bag, set it there. That's my fault. These are empty notebooks that I will also keep. I take that back. <laughs> Everybody has their notebook for this year. I will keep... Oh, see, and we're using loose paper. I think I'm actually going to donate this stuff unless I have graph paper ones. The graph paper ones we do use. The ones that have just lined paper in them. We have loose lined paper and everybody has big notebooks that they're using. 
All right, some of these are brand new. Ah, it is my dilemma again. I'm gonna keep the ones that are brand new. Any that are used, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna donate them. Because they might run out of room in this year's, I really don't know. But again, it's like I keep all these spare things. Um, I just don't think I want to do that anymore. You can reprimand me in the comment section. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> I mean, I really don't want to be wasteful either. I just feel like I'm at a point with this basement where I, I know I'm making progress, but I'm not making the kind of progress I want. And I really be, want to be more minimal down here. Hopefully I get a new Octavia box every month. So this one is old. I think a lot of times the, the what you need to think about is do I have the budget to replace these things? You know, if I need them, which I don't even know if I will. Oh, these were very used. They all have writing on them. Okay, we're gonna get rid of these. I'll keep these two. Keep this box. Oh, also, this was just kind of brought down and these were two shirts that I know my daughter wanted to get rid of. So I'm just going to, this box is going to Goodwill anyway. So I'll just put these in here with it. And I have stuff already in my car because I thought I was going to Goodwill and then it didn't happen. So I really need to prioritize getting over to Goodwill this week. Here's some chargers which I don't know why they're down here popsicle sticks they're really fat I'll actually put this with crafts because sometimes they do history projects and then at the end of the school year I'll get rid of those this box has a bug in it dead bug I'm kind of over it with these boxes maybe I'm just in a really good mood to do this this could end up I could end up decluttering everything right now this is, oh, one of our homeschool portfolios that we get put with our old homeschool stuff. It's really not needed. Because <sighs> it's really old. When Rachel was little. I'll double check with her since it's hers. All right. I'll put this with my husband's electronics just so at least it's with electronics, but I really feel like this stuff probably needs to be upstairs. This goes with chairs, but I was using it when I was declaring. This is like supplies, home improvement supplies. Why is it here? I don't know. Paint stuff, I've got a box for that. See, it's just stuff, paint. Oh, this goes with the cat filtration that goes over so my husband's tool, poly, screws. I'm not even sure how this happened. Maybe it was another day I was decluttering. Electrical tape, more electrical tape, masking tape. I must have found, oh, maybe I found it, oh, I know what it was when I did the declutter under the stairs, that's what it was. A drill bit, put that here, these little batteries, I don't even know, all right, trash, screws, what did I do, <laughs> somebody want to let me know what I did with all my husband's screws, I really have no idea, huh, all right. One of the toolbox.
Alright, so this is Goodwill. This is school stuff that we might use again. So this should go in here. These are files I was going through, so those should not be there. Alright, then this was a bag of spread stuff I thought we might use again. So, this can go in here, all of it. We have this year and next year, and then I am done homeschooling. Woo! Started about 25 years ago. Alright. Two guns that are with craft stuff. And then this lid, my craft stuff, is too have too much to put the lid on. I'm just gonna set it there for now. So this is the homeschool thing I want to show Rachel. Our pencils which go with craft stuff, but I'm just gonna Let's see. I'm gonna shove it there. It's not perfect. I need a bigger box for craft stuff, but I feel like the curriculum I'm using that has history projects is probably. Oh, this is the last year because Creasy is a senior in high school and Yvonne doesn't like it. So that's great. That's the last time. So as soon as this school year's over, I'm probably getting rid of that craft box. 99% of it anyway. So homeschool. And then I saw another homeschool box I had been going through that also needs to get put back up here. Homeschool. Look at that. Christmas wrap was on the floor. Uh, probably because somebody was getting into this because it's birthday season for us. So what I see here is um, I have two rolls of Christmas wrap. So. I gotta make sure I use that first before I buy any. And then I usually try to match colors a little bit. So if I buy more, it'll be in the same color scheme. But if I buy more, it'll probably be like one of those rolls you can get at Sam's Club. Oh, this has tape in it. Okay, I'm just gonna stick that right here because I'm lazy. Here's what I'm happy about. When I originally came down here, my intention was just to tidy up so that I could start decluttering again. But I really feel like, well, I'm happy that I decluttered anyway. And I also feel like it's time to really organize, which is exciting. The problem's gonna be for me is how much money do I spend organizing? Some of you have said, don't buy too much uh, in boxes because you are gonna end up decluttering more and you're not gonna need all those boxes. The other thing is, I do know the pictures, the family portraits, that is still a hot mess. My second born son is gonna be moving soon, next year, 2023, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise for him. So I want to make sure I get his photos separated so he can take them with him. Then my oldest, who has been moved out for a number of years, he's going to be coming here for Christmas. And I gave him some photos last time he came, so I'm going to see if I can especially get his pulled out to the side as well. So that is coming and we can talk about photos all over again. So whatever great advice you have for people decluttering their photos, please put those in the comments section of this video because I would love to have lots of wisdom. And it, you know, it doesn't have to be yours. Like if you learn something from Minimal Mom, go ahead and put from Minimal Mom I learned or Clutterbug or any of those people who have taught us so much, Lynn White, just put it down there of who you learned it from if you happen to remember or put it down as your tip. Now I am going to go up and make supper and the family is doing a takeout night. They're doing Subway. My daughter Rachel is going to be making her own meal and so I'm going to show you what I'm making. This is kind of my own little low carb thing that I do that reminds me of what my mother used to call American chop suey but 
most everybody else on the planet calls it goulash. So this is my own little low carb version. When I was a kid, my mom would just take some ground beef and scramble it up and then cooked macaroni and then crushed tomatoes. And us kids just loved it. And it was crushed canned tomatoes, of course. At church suppers, my aunt would always add green bell pepper to things like her spaghetti sauce or if she did do a goulash and I love the bell peppers in it so much I'm not sure why my mom was not a fan so having the bell peppers really amps up the flavor for me and I want a half cup because I am allowed a cup and a half of vegetables for the type of vegetables that I'm having in this dish so once I get that all chopped up I'm just setting it aside and I have the 99% lean turkey burger here so it's a nice lean protein because it is so lean I'm allowed to have seven ounces but the measurement is seven ounces cooked so I am measuring it here after I cook it and I'll hold it aside while I fry up my bell pepper once I have my bell pepper all fried up you're going to see me add another half cup of riced cauliflower so my riced cauliflower acts as my pasta and I really do love riced cauliflower I didn't think I would but it has really grown on me I usually will zap it in the microwave if it's frozen for like two minutes and now I'm adding Rao's marinara sauce it is a low carb sauce other people that don't use the Rao's might use Trader Joe's that's also another really good low carb marinara sauce and so look I'm just mixing it all up and then I'm going to add the tomato sauce to it and it's just the easiest little thing sometimes if I'm having a super hungry day I will split this up and I'll have some in the middle of the day and then some again at supper time so I hope you enjoy getting to see my little low carb easy go-to meal I'm going to put my full basement declutter playlist in the upper right corner and then YouTube will put something they think you might have missed in the upper left corner remember as always that God loves you and I love you too and I can't wait to see you next time